So we're in a brand new season. and We want to talk about that season and what it is bringing today on Connections. So we've been talking a lot lately about being in this new season uh, in our church family here in Vero Beach, Florida. A season uh, where there were five things that we talked about. One of those was a season of planting. Now, in the Gospels, there's this story, this parable that Jesus tells about the sower and the seed. And he talks about how the seed is, is thrown upon sometimes just, just uh, rocky soil and it never takes root and the birds of the air come and they just snatch that away. And he talks about the seed that falls on the shallow soil that might spring up for a moment, but then very quickly it dies in the noonday sun. He talks about the seed that is thrown among the, the thorns and the bushes and the weeds and the weeds, which he says the worries of life grow up and end up choking that seed off, uh, out. And then he talks about good, solid soil. I believe that God is bringing you and me into a season of good, solid soil. We must be careful though, not to allow things like the hardness of our heart to keep that seed from ever getting root or the shallowness. A shallow faith is not a faith that is growing, uh, nor should we let the worries of our life just grow up and choke those things off. But as we walk in this new season, a season of growing, we just invite you in church to, to believing that God is going to be doing some great things, believing that God is going to be manifest in ways that we have never seen before, believing that God's blessing is going to be upon us during this season. Now, just like the farmer, just like the person who, who, who plants that seed and casts that seed, there has to be some diligence uh, taking place. And so I want to encourage you in these days not to allow uh, all the distractions that come our way and keep us from seeing what God is doing to, to take you off mission. We've been given a very clear mission at Freedom Church, and, and that mission is to make disciples who make disciples. Our heartbeat is for those who are broken and, and, and a passion that we have for seeing them restored to God. And of course, our, our vision being that of being a refuge of God's heart, of God's hope, and God's healing into people's lives. I know many of you that are watching this video are a part of that mission. And, and so I want to encourage you today with, with these words, that God is with us, that He is Emmanuel, and God is moving in ways that are just way beyond any of our ability to accomplish for the kingdom what we say we want to accomplish. It's going to take a God act upon our lives. And so I encourage you to seek the Lord with all of your heart, to ask of the Lord, to use you and to, to, to empower you in this mission that he has given us here upon this earth. And, and to continue to pray that God will break our heart for the broken that are in our community. For those of you who are part of another community or part of another church, we wanna encourage you with those same words to become a blessing to that church, to become a blessing to your community community as we enter this new season of planting, which is going to lead to much fruit being born, fruit of love and patience and kindness, not the works of the flesh. So God bless you. Let's, let's pray as we close this out. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to share an encouraging word. Lord, I exhort those who are listening right now into the, the mission that God has given each one of us through the great commission of going therefore into all of the world and uh, making disciples and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey all things. And thank Thank you, God, that you ended that with a promise that you will be with us even into the end of the age. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and for your greatness and for your power and for your mercy and for your grace. Now, may this prayer fall upon all who hear it and may they turn to you and may they seek you with all of their heart and worship you with all of their heart, mind, soul, and strength. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. For those of you who are in the community, we invite you out this weekend. If you're not part of a church or you're part of our Freedom family, we've got a great message for you this weekend in our series, Dropping the F-Bomb. This week, we're dropping 
fear. We're dropping fear because all over God's word, it says fear not. In fact, one place it says fear not for I am with you. And so, and so we encourage you to come out 9.30 Sunday morning, our Sunday celebration. May the Lord bless you.